Now let us look at the question number 26 and this question number 26 is actually related to the strict binary trees which is again from the subject algorithms. They are saying a binary tree in which every known leaf node has known empty left and right subtrees is called a strict binary tree. Now such a tree with 19 uh, leaves have exactly how many nodes? So if they are asking exactly or could not have more than or something like this. Okay. Now for this, uh, there is no formula that is existing. I mean, uh, maybe there is existing, but I am not devised any formula yet. But I am going to devise a formula here because we are going to use a technique which is called as induction. So we are going to create the strict binary trees, and in the strict binary trees, we are going to check what is in the number of leaves and what is the number of non-leaf nodes. Okay. So here I am going to take number of nodes, total number of nodes. Here I am going to take number of leaf nodes and then I'm also going to take number of non-leaf nodes number of non-leaf nodes okay EF leaf nodes okay so uh, in a strict monetary we can have one node so the total number of leaf nodes are one and total of non-leaf nodes are zero okay the next we can have three so total number of nodes, nodes are three so that will the strict binary tree will look something like this. So it is a strict binary tree and it is a strict binary tree. So they are saying if a node is having a children then it should have both left and right children. So here in this case the total number of leaf nodes are 2 and the total of known leaf nodes are only 1. If uh, in the next case we can have uh, this is a strict binary tree. So here the total number of nodes are 5. Now if the total number of nodes are 5 then total number of leaf, number of leaf nodes are 3 and the total number of non-leaf nodes are 2 okay now can you design the strict binary tree with the 5 nodes in some other way uh, then it will be look it will look something like this okay so again the total number of leaf nodes are 3 and total of non-leaf nodes are 2 next we can have strict binary tree of total number of nodes as 7 so it can be drawn like this so this is a strict binary tree of total number of nodes as 7 we can also draw total 7 nodes like this it is also a strict binary tree. We can also draw a strict binary tree of total 7 nodes like this. It is also a strict binary tree, right? So there are multiple methods. Now in all these cases, can you count what is the total number of leaf nodes? This is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here 1, 2, 3 and 4. So total number of leaf nodes are 4 and total of known leaf nodes are 3 only. Okay. Now if let us say the total number of nodes here are 9 then I can draw it like this or I can draw it like this or I can draw it like this or I, I can also draw some other way also there are so many different ways that is possible I'll calculate the total number of leaf nodes they are 1 2 3 4 and 5 here 1 2 3 4 and 5 here 1 2 3 4 and 5 so in any way you are drawing so you are only getting 5 leaf nodes and total of 4 non leaf nodes okay now in the same way if we draw that uh, we have uh, total of 11 uh, total number of uh, nodes then will we have leaf nodes as 6 and the non leaf nodes they will be 5 if you have total 13 nodes then leaf nodes will be 7 and non leaf nodes will be 6 so in any way if we have a total of 19 leaves so if you have 19 leaves as in every case you can check the total of non leaf nodes are uh, one less than this okay so these are the leaves the non leaf nodes will be 18 so they, there will be non leaf nodes so in total we are going to have 37 nodes exactly 37 nodes exactly okay so correct answer to this question is option number 2 which is saying 37 nodes so you can again figure out by uh, extending this table whether I am seeing correctly or not you just have to extend this table Till maybe you can extend it till 19 and you can clearly figure out what is the total number of leaf nodes and what is the total number of known leaf nodes as you can see it is one of the easiest question that you can ex uh, expect in the question paper but again for this you should know uh, the basic concept of the strict binary so only if you know the basic concept of strict binary then only you can solve this question okay so in the next video let us look at the next question which is the question number 27